Meet Swampletics, my Mauritania locked ultimate Iron Man. Since December of 2018, I've been living strictly in Mauritania. I'm an ultimate Iron Man account, which means I can't use banks and I can't trade other players. This is my story. I'm going to be taking on one of RuneScape's biggest challenges, the Theater of Blood. To sum it up, the Mauritania-only Theater of Blood just isn't possible. Or is it? So let's find out how one impling is going to make it all possible. So, what is it about Implings that makes a Mauritania-only Theater of Blood Clear possible? Over the past two weeks, I saw a lot of theory crafting with the teaser, but I don't think I actually saw anyone get it right. So, let's narrow it down. Out of all 11 Implings, to complete the Theater of Blood, I need to be able to catch a Lucky Impling. Lucky Implings have access to the entirety of the Clue Scroll drop table, every item from every tier of Clue, from easy to master, totaling hundreds of accessible items, if I got the Hunter level to catch them. This is obviously a lot easier said than done, I still have to rely on lamps until 27 Hunter, then catch baby Implings until 29, and then finally do Swamp Lizards all the way to 99 Hunter, to even have the chance to catch one. Not only that, they are also the rarest impling in the game at a spawn rate of 1 in 101. So out of quite literally hundreds of items, I'm looking for one item in particular. One item that makes everything doable. The Rune Crossbow. It might come as a shock, actually. I don't know how many times I've mentioned how good the Carol's Crossbow is, and from a logical standpoint, the Carol's Crossbow is a tier 70 weapon while the Rune Crossbow is 61, but mathematically speaking, it's basically a non-comparison. Calculating damage output on every single boss and every single scenario, it's not the crossbow that necessarily makes the difference, but in reality, the bolts that accompany it. The Rune Crossbow ended up saving an incredible amount of supplies on three of the bosses, and mathematically, it's the only thing that makes this challenge realistic within the restrictions. So to put in perspective, we're looking at over 300 hours to get 99 Hunter, potentially hundreds of hours to find Lucky Implings, all relying on an approximate 1 in 300 drop, taking into account the massive loot table. After all that is done, I need 73 smithing in order to even make the adamant bolts that I'll be enchanting for the theater, and for that, the plan is gargoyles. Gargoyles have a 75 slayer requirement and drop a multitude of different smithing supplies, and this is what I need in order to make smithing reasonable. I decided to create a chart of the most time-consuming grinds I have ahead of me, and it seemed fitting to keep track of everything I want to accomplish before setting foot in the theater. The absolute most important thing on the list right now, which just happens to be the longest grind in the entire region, is the Abyssal Whip, the 85 slayer requirement, and that is just the beginning. As you might know by now, I have to train Slayer through Temple Trekking, an estimated 500 hours of it just to get the Slayer level for the Abyssal Whip, and every single one of these items is critical to making all of this work. The Whip being literally twice as strong as my current weapon, it's safe to say it's the absolute most important item, because it allows me to tackle every other one of my goals in an extremely efficient fashion. And that being said, it's going to be the biggest test of patience I've had to tackle on the account so far. All in all, this is what lies ahead. Let's start with our number one priority. Let's get an Abyssal Whip without ever having completed a Slayer task. You know, at okay, at first glance, I was going to dismiss it, but this, this event right here is going to play such an integral part in the future. Let me just, let me just demonstrate, okay? All right, make it convenient for the video. No, emeralds. Okay, well, this is exactly how I'm going to get noted rubies in the future. I'm not going to start stacking them until I have finished 85 Slayer, but this is exactly what I'm going to be doing. And I believe the pinball random as well can give you uh, noted rubies. So those are going to be my ruby bolt tips for my adamant bolts. So I am currently 37k away from 64 Slayer. There's a couple things I need to do, a couple things I need to get off the checklist before I start temple trekking because currently I weigh like 5 billion kilograms and... Um, 
I also have a couple things to get rid of inventory space wise, so. All right, quick Barrow's chest to get the blood pumping. Uh, not so much, all right, never mind. Okay, so first order of business, I wanna get rid of all of the runes I currently have. Uh, the deaths, chaos, and bloods, they have absolutely no use for me. I might as well use them and get the magic XP, so I will be right back with some levels. 66 magic, 67 magic, that's gonna be the last one we get. And there's 91 strength. I was so close at the end of last episode after killing the vampires, and now that's gonna be the last strength level I get for a while, but when I get the whip, we are gonna be hitting like freaking 40 billions. It's gonna be great. So a big part of last episode was getting seeds, which I only have three super compos, so. I'm also gonna take off my cape. Episode 17 hasn't been released yet as you're watching this, so I don't wanna spoil it for anyone, but yeah, we gotta make some compost. Also, welcome to green cape season. You know, it's pretty freaking sick. I have so many seeds. I'm just gonna sell those. I'm not gonna farm the Marantil seeds. That's an extra 200 seeds I'd have to farm, and I literally only have one herb patch, so. As you can see, the weight, 39 kilograms. There's a very good reason why those two items are sitting at the top of my inventory. It's, it's a sad day. Honestly, this is gonna hurt and I think you know what's coming already, but uh, These items just simply aren't a part of the theater of blood master plan and they would weigh me down during my next 50 days of temple trekking uh, The Derek's helm was the first Barrow's item I got so this one kind of hurts the most, but oh There it is She's gone she is gone Varax Brassard also is not part of the theater of blood master plan so this one actually I'm not too too upset about because it's just it's the worst tank body anyway, but yeah There they are there they go uh, the Varax skirt should go as well But I'm honestly way too emotionally attached to it for for whatever reason. I don't know I really like the Varax skirt So it's just gonna stay but I did drop seven kilograms there So that should help a bit. I just shouldn't have to refuel my run energy as often the Snelm is ready. Oh, this is the peak of season three right here. This is the peak. The Snelm is going to make temple tricking a million times safer. And if you don't already know, well, then don't worry, because I'll explain it. All right, we're going to be rebuying the flail because there's one final item I need before I actually begin temple tricking, and that is an axe to cut a lot of trees with. Mystery box. What? what? Okay, that is ridiculous. That's so insanely rare. Rune battle axe from okay this this is the peak of season three holy hey there it is mithril axe perfect that is what we wanted to see all right we are done which means i can go sell this stuff and we are ready to begin our uh two month adventure into the same mini game every single day for you know, I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> so one thing to note is that temple trekking is a dangerous mini game, which means that if I die inside of it, everything is gone. Everything that I've worked for. So, um, well, not everything. I mean, I've got stats and stuff, but you, you get it, okay? The the seeds, you know, all that. Uh, so we're gonna try to avoid that, obviously. Um, but in 500 hours of temple trekking, you know, there's there's some room for error. So uh, let's get started. Day one. So welcome to my home for the next 50 days that is. With 500 hours of temple trekking, assuming 10 hours of efficient trekking per day, uh, we'll be looking at a little under two months to achieve the Abyssal Whip. I wanna get this done even faster if possible, but luck has a pretty big role here. I'll be redeeming tickets for experienced tomes and I'm assuming that each tome has an equal chance of being selected. So with seven options in total and assuming 38 tomes on average, I'll be getting 5.4 Slayer tomes an hour. A tome could be anywhere from 1100 to 1650 experience, so assuming an equal distribution here, 1375 XP per tome on average, times 5.4, we're looking at 7400 Slayer experience per hour. This also means that by the time I get 85 Slayer, I'll also have 85 in each one of the other tomable skills. Usually I have an end goal set at the start of an episode, but let's just see how far we can go. Let's begin day one. So if you were wondering what that Snelm was for, this is exactly it. This is actually the most fatal room if you do not have a Snelm. They can just, these guys can destroy you in like a matter of 20 seconds. So with a Snelm, they should constantly hit me for zero. So even if I DC in this room now, I will be completely safe, which is amazing. So that is what the Snelm is for. Uh, it's an extra three kilograms, but absolutely worth it, so. Oh, Bog, my good old friend, the Bog. I absolutely cannot stand this event, and knowing that I'm gonna have to do it thousands of times is, uh, 
Ooh, oh, oh, this is gonna be fun. So one little trick that I have learned is that the first three tiles on each side, I've actually been doing this recently, is you check the first three tiles on each side. They're, they're more likely to be firm. See, like this one, this one's firm. So this is how I'm gonna be doing it, I think. Oh, what just happened? The first bog that I come back to, this one's like a four minute bog or something. I, I can't stand this, honestly. I, I cannot stand it. <gasps> Okay, I have to show this. This is such a successful hour. This is a uh, 54k XP gain, which is insane. 4k an hour on Slayer currently, so day one is not treating me too well. I'll give you that, but day two starting off with a mystery box. 500 coins. Day two also brings us the very first Slayer level, 64 Slayer, that's freaking sick. 65 thieving on our way to the farming patch, very nice. All right, I think it's probably time that I get rid of the Addy Kite Shield. This thing weighs a ton and it's not like I need it for anything either. Uh, so, I mean, this is an extra, I believe, yeah, six kilograms. So I'm just gonna drop this thing. Oh, I feel so weightless now. So this is nearly the end of day two and I'm actually ending it with 65 Slayer. I was not expecting to get this today, but yeah, that's freaking awesome. No unlocks, unfortunately, but ah, the genie has appeared and this is going to be 20 Hunter. So we are now in the 20s from just using lamps and books and there's only seven levels to go until I can bare hand baby implings. You know, no complaints about day three just yet. In fact, Slayer is finally catching up. This is gonna be 66. I believe Slayer was actually my lowest tomable skill. In fact, it still is, but hopefully it catches up soon. Uh, it seems to be making a comeback currently. I've gained 36K XP today, so we're gonna keep on going. You just love to see it, you know? You just love to see it. That's what, what else can you say? All right, I'm just gonna use it instantly. I learned from the last episode, I learned my lesson. We're just gonna use it 300 XP onto 21, very nice. Oh, how did I get a Slayer level in here? That's pretty, I'm impressed. I mean, cool, 67 Slayer and 67 agility oh it's a freaking great day and 67 fishing and right, we hit 70 wood cutting adding another 70 stat to the account those are so far ahead fire making and wood cutting are super far ahead currently and there we go 68 slayer beautiful that's awesome so i just noticed this i have no idea what this is but it says a total of 225 souls have been rescued if I hop worlds, this is going to be a different number. So I don't know if temple treks are actually tracked on different, what the, what, what does it mean? I, I don't think that's actual temple treks is the weird part, which means like, I have no idea what that actually means in that case, but by far the closest I have been to dying so far, as you can see five shades, uh, there can be anywhere from three to five. And then there's also a spawn point where they spawn like pretty much right next to you. So I got stacked out. Uh, if they had hit higher, I would have been dead. So that is sketchy. That is extremely freaking sketchy. And on the one week mark, 69 Slayer, very freaking cool. One level to go for that big 70. I'm excited, I'm excited. Ending day seven, 36K away from 70. I'm pretty happy with that actually, that's super good. Ah, I feel like it's been a while since I've seen a genie, honestly, very freaking cool. This is not gonna get me 21, but it's gonna get me damn close. 23 whole XP away. Very cool, thank you, Mr. Genie. So we've had a couple slow days, but bottom line is this is going to be the big 70 Slayer. Isn't that freaking beautiful? We're like 20% of the way there. Huge fan, awesome. All right, well, straight back into it. Let's go, no time to waste. Hey, I just got 70 agility, which kind of made me realize, you know, every agility level makes this slightly faster. It makes that slight bit faster. Getting slightly back on track after our two slow days. There's 71 Slayer, 27 farming. The super compost stacks are looking nice. And as you can see, I've actually started farming. So that's cool. It's been a pretty uneventful day 12 besides uh, the 20 million XP mark. You know, I'm pretty freaking proud of that one. Thanks. You know, once upon a time on my main ultimate, I worked for a month straight to get this level. And look at us now, day 13. At least I, th I hope it's day 13. It is criminal how long that took, man. That was like five or six days dry. 21 Hunter, six levels to go. So on this day, we have officially marked two weeks of straight temple trekking. 
and I just managed to get 73 Slayer. We're getting pretty freaking close, and by close, I mean we're not even halfway there, but we have made a lot of progress. I'm super freaking happy with that. 29 farming, very cool. No, they're both dead, what is this? These dry streaks are insane, man. They're like several days apart. Not that I'm complaining, you know, it's fine. Uh, it's not like I need 27 Hunter this instant, but I have been going extremely dry for the uh, the genies and the dunces, which uh, has never happened to me before. 74 Slayer, that is awesome. We're one level away from an actual Slayer monster unlock, and it is one of the most important ones. All right, so uh, you may be wondering why I'm on this screen right now. There's a good chance that when I log in, I am dead. So I figured we would do it together because that sounds a lot more fun. Uh, so uh, yeah, <laughs> let's let's do it. Oh shit! All right, I got out of the tainted lands as quick as possible. I, I need a minute to assess the damages. Uh, and as much as I'd like to blame this on Jagex servers, this was actually my own internet. And it was my own fault because I knew it was pretty dodgy and I kept playing regardless. So I think that along with having no armor, I probably just couldn't survive the encounter I disconnected on. So completely my fault. I, I take responsibility for that. This is not what I was expecting at all to happen. <laughs> but hold on, let me assess the damages. I'll be right back. So if you're wondering why I kept the carols, I knew something like this could happen. And as you might know, you keep untradeables on death. So I damaged all of my carols pieces before starting trekking so that if I would die, I would keep them. So I did. Uh, and because of that, I am not, I'm not mad, by the way. I'm really not mad. I'm not upset. Uh, all in all, I lost some cash, a lot of seeds, um, the rune scimitar, which, you know, some emotional value there. Uh, Varax skirt, not too bummed about, uh, but I'm just, I'm so glad that the carols is still here. That's really all I, like, truly cared about, so, uh, obviously it's a bummer. Like, it's, it's a bit of a bummer that I lost the seeds and stuff, because I, I guess I have to get Herbler up in a different way, but that's completely fine. Uh, but on the bright side, I weigh, like, half of what I did, so I'm gonna be freaking flying through these temple treks only weighing half, uh, but yeah, not mad at all. This is perfectly fine. It's gonna take me about an hour and a half to get back on my feet from the death, so I'll be back in a bit. There it is, there's our ax for temple trekking, perfect. All right, buy back the green cape and uh, we are good to go. So it is the next day, uh, yesterday was a bit rough, but here we have 75 Slayer, unlocking one of the most vital Slayer monsters in the region, absolutely stoked about that. In three levels, we are officially halfway to 85, and uh, with that being said, Let's go kill a couple gargoyles, just for the fun of it. I don't know, I'm feeling it, so. Here we go, gotta kill these with a wolfbane dagger. This is gonna be trash. That's one of the drops we'll be looking for right there, 20 gold ore. I honestly cannot wait to camp these guys with a whip. It's gonna be so much fun, holy. Stacking tons of bars and ores for the smithing grind, that's gonna be sick. There's been about 200 hours of progress done in these last three weeks. And next episode, we're going to be pushing that to over 300 because I'm going to be getting the Abyssal Whip next episode. Mark my words, all right? The, the comeback is always greater than the setback. Oh, what a beautiful way to end it. Look at that. All right, let's use this lamp. This is going to be 210 Hunter XP and let's use this one straight away. 22 Hunter to end off the video. Five levels to go. See you soon.